Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. So, tomorrow, the 4th of July, that is when barbers, salons and anywhere where you can get your hair cut is now allowed to open, of course, in some parts of the UK because of, of course, the coronavirus pandemic. And as measures are being lifted, we are giving more and more back of our lives. Now, of course, this does not mean that we shouldn't take our measures seriously and it should not mean that we don't have to look after ourselves and one another and to be really, really cautious about our safety in terms of this virus. It's still a very, very, very real threat. But having said that, I... I'm really, really looking forward to getting my hair cut tomorrow, but I am going to be following all the measures. So something which is really going to be quite new is I am told um, I managed, I feel very, very privileged to the fact that I managed to get myself an appointment for uh, the at the place where I usually get my hair cut. Um, unfortunately, not the same person, but it's going to be somebody different who has cut my hair before. Um, but apparently the new measures will be that I have to have my hair washed. I don't usually have my hair washed, so that would be certainly a different experience. I have to wear an apron, I have to wear gloves, I believe, and I have to wear a mask, which is absolutely fine. Um, I've, I've got masks already, which I've bought, um, and that I keep for if I'm going into an area where it's really quite congested with lots and lots of people. So very new and should be very, very different, but I cannot wait to have a haircut. Now, I have to admit that. So I've been cutting my own sides of my hair, and I haven't done it for a little while, for a couple of weeks now, but I've been cutting my own hair at the sides, but the top I haven't touched. So the top of my hair, even though it looks quite smart now, or I hope it does anyway, you'll be the judge of that, my hair comes to a down about I'd say probably about here now. So it's grown and grown and grown. And, um, and I think that's down to partly with the Viviscal hair supplement, the growth supplement I've been taking for my hair. And that's a, um, that's about it. That's a journey which I've been doing on my channel. So if you haven't had a look at that, please do have a look at that. And that's all about really transforming my hair when I had a few concerns in my hair. Um, so that I've had some really, really great and certainly a lot of positive, um, thoughts and a lot of positive feelings about that journey as well and that's something we're going to be carrying on about and I will be picking that up at the six month mark and you never know I may drop in to do some flash updates on that as well but this clip is all about that kind of in a way that we're getting more and more of our life back now we have to it's, it's our new normal isn't it it's our new normal and tomorrow will be the new way of getting our hair cut and I'm getting to experience that tomorrow and I feel really really privileged about that. What style am I going to be going for? So do you know what? I want some of this length gone so I do not want hair right down here when I leave tomorrow. When I leave the barbering side tomorrow from where the uh, the hair cutting place or salon whatever you want to call it where I leave tomorrow I really want a bit of a completely different style so I want the sides to be really really short and I want like a real nice pompadour style but I want the back at the moment I've got the long length at the back and it's really long really quite sort of outgrown you could say and I want that to be really sort of tapered in really nice and short down to a fine point at the back but I'm not sure about how long I want my hair to be. The front, I still want a nice modern sort of pompadour look, but I want a lot of the weight kind of cut out of it. So I want some of the length cut, but I also want some of the bulkiness cut out of it as well. Because what I find is where the hair is so long, when I'm drying it, it's just, it's taking a lot of product to keep it up. It's taking a lot of product to get the fullness there. Whereas if I have it cut into slightly, when I say that, if you were to hold up, um, if you were to hold up a length of hair and if you were to pass some thinning shears through it, it would take the weight out of it, but it wouldn't affect the length. So therefore that the product would hold the hair up easier and the short hairs would support the longer hairs. That's what I'm hopefully going to have a look at. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'm going to have a look at doing. I like the colour of my hair, I have to admit. Recently, of course, I've coloured my hair because it goes a lot lighter, a lot brassier in the summer. And it was starting to get quite brassy towards the lengths of my hair where it was so long. If that happens normally, what I would do if I was able to get to uh, a barber's is I'd have length cut off it's really really quite a strange thing but my my twin brother also if he grows facial hair he gets quite a brassy tone in there as well for me i don't get that in the facial hair i don't get that in my hair i just get it at the long lengths when it starts to grow through longer really really quite strange but uh, however if i'm abroad and that happens it goes a really really nice color but in the uk it seems to go really really brassy so that's why i've got a bit of a different color but for tomorrow with my new haircut i'm quite interested to see what that's going to look like and do you know what? I really, really like the darker colour which I've got going on at the moment. It's really, really quite nice. And I'm hoping to see this in a much more modern, much more sleeker look tomorrow. So if you haven't guessed already, I'm really, really looking forward to that. And do you know what? I think that 
just the small things can help us be lifted in mood. So just lately it's been quite a bit pressured, it's been quite stressed with one thing and another. And you know what, sometimes just as simple as going to get your hair cut or going to do something quite simple like that. But when we've taken it so, so for granted and then we've all gone through this epidemic uh, with the coronavirus. Um, and of course, that's taken so much of our lives away from us. But more so, some poor individuals have lost so much to this illness. And you know what? It really does make us value what is so precious in this life. Just a short thing of just walking out of our doors and walking down the street and not having a care or a worry. Those things just taking just really, really not taking things for granted. Um, huge, huge, huge. So really, for me, I'm really starting to feel that from this pandemic that it really does teach us that we should value every single aspect of our life and we should really, really take notes and we should really feel quite privileged in the way we get to lead our lives. Um, and you know what, that's a huge thing what I take away from my clip today as well. When I just think of something as simple of taking it for granted, I could go and get my hair cut. For so long I haven't been able to do that. It's been fine, it's not been a huge thing of course, but there's so many other things out there which has been happening with people. But just so... Just such a small thing like that, what's going to be happening tomorrow, me going to have my hair cut, I just value it. I appreciate it so much more. Now, what I would just like to lastly say on my clip here today, that as we do go back into a new normal, never, ever, ever let it be that we've forgotten what's happened throughout this pandemic and all the awful things what's happened and all those treasured people which we have lost throughout this pandemic. And some of us, we may not know them, but we know it's happened. And for that, I am truly, truly sorry. And my heart goes out to you. And I send my deepest, most sincerest condolences and my very best wishes to you all. Thanks very, very much for watching my clip. And until next time, where I will be showing my new hairstyle. This is the very last clip which I've been doing throughout this lockdown process. And you know what? Tomorrow, when I get my hair cut, I will be making a clip just to show you how my hair looks afterwards. So let's just give you the once look. So as you can see the sides here, you can see and you can see the colour in the front here. And I'm just going to slowly go around, as you can see. And you should be able to see what that looks like and I will show you after. Okay, until next time, as you can hear the phone's ringing, I've got to go. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye now.